Well, good morning, everybody. There's a lovely sp spider hanging from the oak tree leaf. Yeah. Well, zoom out here. I just got here. I haven't been here that long. Um, got my battery plugged in, and that's charging. Uh, took care of water for the chicks over there, and took care of water for the ducks. It was pretty nasty when I got here, and yeah, they're enjoying it. Looks like it didn't take them long to get that other one dirty. They're yeah, going from the puddles to the pools. They're just having a grand old time. Yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't gotten the emu's water changed yet. Like I said, I haven't been here that long. I'll do that before too long, I guess. Um, I was able to stop off here the other night um, after work. Had a little bit of time. And I managed to get this much of my nesting box done. Um, now, my lines aren't straight. I don't have a proper straight edge. Um, so what I did is I just made sure the back was flush. Sorry about the shadows. That sun's down low. I'm here pretty early. Um, I made sure the line the back was, was flush because the front will be kind of inside the framework of the building. Uh, obviously the chickens have been trying out the hen house without the walls on. Uh, let me see here. Now this is on hold for a little bit. I'm hoping I can get to the rest of it today but we'll see. Right now I have another little issue that has been going on this week and uh, I've got to resolve it. I've got three little red chicks in here that have decided that they know how to get out of this pen. So they've been had to ramp and get round up every morning. So what I'm going to do is this here is coming down. I mean this was a temporary thing anyway because it's really it was just quickly thrown together because I had to rush because I had a broody. I had to have something someplace for her to go. So this is going to get torn down. I'm going to fence off properly this section and then I've got that plastic uh, netting that's going to go up. Um, I don't think I need to put it over here where this tree is. Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't want to have to go into the tree because that makes a terrible mess and I've already had to clean some of that out. So um, I see I got a branch up there that needs to be trimmed off. Uh, this dead branch, the dead branches can come down. Uh, so we'll see um, how far I get today to where I can keep these guys in. Playing dead chicken. Look at that. Playing dead chicken. No, playing hurt chicken. What you doing, my dear, huh? Of course, this bunch just decided they're going to all huddle in the corner. I don't know why they do that. I've asked my friend if she can take her saws all to this thing so I can get this out of here so I can open this up wider. Now she's busy today working for somebody else. So come on girls, get out of here. Actually I should say boys and girls because um pretty sure that what I've got in here I've got three roosters and two hens. So I think what I'm gonna do be doing is I'm gonna be separating the boys from the girls and the boys are going to be in here. So, three boys in here, they'll have plenty of room and the girls will have this area over here. They'll be fine. So, and then, then we'll have to decide what we're going to do with the boys. Um, I said the white one belongs to my friend and he's a purebred Americana. So she has to decide if she's going to raise him. Oh dear me, my door didn't get closed properly. Oh, that's not good. I muffed up. Let's see. Heard the chickens. Heard the chickens. Get behind the drive line. There we go. Oh. Yeah. So. 
Yeah, those two are boys. So, well. So she takes her rooster. And that leaves just the two. And I'll let them mature up. And uh, I have a feeling they're probably going to go, go to auction. Yeah. I probably won't have time to mess with them. But we'll see what they turn out like. Let me see here. I think he's going to have a a rose comb. That's nice. Okay, then who's your mama? If you've got a rose comb, who's your mama? Got to be little red. No, little mama. Little mama has the rose comb. Interesting. Thinking about chicken genetics here. So when I was re reading, your characteristics come from the, the rooster. Well, if he's got a rose comb, I guess that's not one of those things that you get from the rooster. Now we'll see how that develops. How's this other one? Does that other one have a I can't tell if he's got a rose comb or not. Now that would be different. Hmm. Now that makes a difference. I'll have to think on what I'm going to do with these boys. If they've got a ro See, the advantages of a rose comb is that it, they're not as prone to frostbite because the comb is closer to the head. Um, I know this past, past winter was brutal absolutely brutal and the the Dominique Cross rooster that I have uh, he's uh, he lost the top edges of his comb from frostbite so that that's the downside to the roosters with the big floppy combs is that if you're in an area that gets really cold you want to try and stay away from them uh, because then you have to pay special attention you got to make sure their their um, housing is um, is kept warm, moderately at least above freezing, so they don't get frostbite. Okay. Um, like I said, this was an unusually brutal winter this year. I felt sorry for the for the guys because I knew that old hen house was not adequate when it came to keeping them warm. Um, but there was nothing I could do. There was absolutely nothing I could do. So you just. Do the best you can with what you've got to work with, you know. So hopefully this winter, first of all, hopefully this winter will not be nearly as bad as last winter. But if it is, hopefully this new hen house will be much better for them. So, well, i got to get to work and get some stuff done. So I'll touch base with you later. Well, everybody's laying in the shade. Nice cool breeze blowing through here. Got the girls separated from the boys. Yeah. They weren't too happy about it, but they'll get used to it. They'll be fine. They'll settle in. Thanks, Boomer. He just knocked my drill off. <sighs> Jealous because you're not getting any camera time, huh? Or are you just upset because I haven't done your water yet? Don't worry, I'll do it before too long. Yep. You're fine until I get to it. It'll be done today, don't worry about it. <sighs> well, hopefully it's still functioning and he hasn't knocked it out of whack. Uh, as you can see, I cleared that out. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. It really is not that good. Um, you know, it's made out of that press board, the, you know, wood chips with, pressed together with glue, you know, it's just something that's thrown together. I may just take it all apart, see if there's anything I can salvage, like this would be, make good um, screen work for the hen house where they're going to have some vent holes, I don't know, I haven't decided. That was the section that I had down to prevent chicks from going through that bigger wire. Um, this will do for now because I do I, I want this to be temporary here um, which is why I don't really want to put more of this fencing up because I'm going to rebuild a chick pen 
in here. I'm going to rebuild the chick pen in here. Um, that house, it served its purpose, but I think it's about had it. It's full of ants, and that's not good. I just, you know, I'm just better off just building new. Um, like I said, it served its purpose. Got no complaints. It worked all right for what I, for what I had to do, and uh, now it can be put away. Because um, I don't think we're going to have any more chicks the rest of this year. Um, I don't really want to mess with it. Because until I get everything really, you know, running smoothly, I just don't want to deal with any more chicks. So, what we've got will do us for the rest of this year. Right, my dear? Yeah, I like that little bit of fencing sitting there, do you? Yeah, that'll be moved. Don't worry. All right. I got to get this panel fastened on, and then I think I'm going to probably just use that plastic mesh up at the top, and then go see if this will keep the chicks in. I suspect this is where they were getting out at, because if I can avoid getting the plastic mesh up into the tree, I would really prefer to, to do that, N not have to put it up there, because it just makes a mess. So. Hopefully this will solve that issue. Alright, let me get this fast and then I'll get on to the hen house. 